my name is Peter. I'm from Sweden. I've been here in Medawi for for a few weeks, and, and before that came from Australia. And I met you a few days ago. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And one of the things that interests me about Peter was he's into movement. He is a movement coach. Is that uh, is that pr is that right? Yeah, I'd say soon to be at least. Soon, well, he's in training, but still, yeah. he he still has a ton of knowledge. And he was showing me some stuff the other day, right here, how to move like a, what was that called? Yeah, we call it the squat routine. The squat routine. Yeah. So I now have a new workout that I can't blow off. <laughs> He's gonna hold me to it, but I'm gonna hold him to three questions. Let's get right into it. Yeah. Tell me about the food from your youth. Like what? who cooked, your father, your mother, and what were the staples in your family? In just 90 seconds or less, tell me what, were the, what, what that was like. Yeah, I'd, I'd grew up in a family where we used to like, yeah, my mother used to cook a lot, so we'd never go out to restaurants and stuff and buy food, or it's it would all, always be like cooked from the from scratch, okay. you know, with, with uh, good quality food, let's say. And one of the favorite meals I I have from my youth is probably the bolognese. Oh, uh, which, like a beef bolognese? Or? Yeah, oh. a beef one. Uh, so yeah, my mother used to do a really good one with ca carrots, onion, you know, some some wine, and, and yeah, really put put a lot of love into it. So what style of pasta would she use for the moment? Uh, actually, some mostly it would be like regular pasta. Like a, I mean, like a like a penne or a spaghetti. Yeah, or? the penne one. Okay. Was also spaghetti, but sometimes actually with like uh, special occasions we'd make our own pasta as well. Oh, cool. Okay, so you grew up in a Swedish home with a mother who made a mean bolognese and sometimes you would even make your own noodles. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's good stuff. And now here we go into question number two. Describe to us either the best adventure you've ever been on or if you have something planned in the future. Just tell us about an adventure that, that stuck with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I try to be specific here, but sure. yeah, the, the, the trip I've done so far is definitely about been the biggest adventure for me and what do you mean the one you're on now yeah the, the trip I'm, I'm on now and and basically why that is it's it's because I've, I've been to uh, the same spot for a while and I've met a lot of people there and, and one one of the things that stood out for in Perth where I've been for a while is when when I went on a road trip up north on the west coast of Australia and you know you just drive through desert for, for you know hours and hours and hours and you know the landscape is basically the same and then all of a sudden you arrive in this remote place like with a amazing beaches as far as the eye can see and you put up your your tent on the beach and you sleep under the stars and uh, brilliant wake up with the sunrise and then awesome. just be out on the reef and fish and, yeah. so it's it's mountainous where the beach is like what is it desert yeah it's desert desert, desert ground um, northwestern australia yeah northwestern up up uh, almost up to something called Coral Bay. Coral Bay. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So that's uh, that's a spot maybe I should put on on my adventure yeah, list. Definitely. Yeah. I think <laughs> you definitely should. Do okay. That. Question number three. When you hear the word connection, what comes up? Oh, that's a good one as well. Um, you know, I think connection. When I hear that word, I, I think about that's so something all you human beings want mm. to connect to other other people. In order to, you know, connect to other people, you need to be a bit connected yourself to, like, this moment and, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, sometimes during my life, I've, I've found myself like not being in a in a good place, and I think that's been when when I haven't been connected to the present. Um, which, which made it hard to connect to other people as well. So. so when you're not in that good place, connection would be a path out of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's I'd say so. Cool. Yeah, that's good. That's big. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. Stuff. That's good, man. For sure. Um, thank you for sharing that. Bonus question. You ready? Yeah. Have you ever jumped out of an airplane? Yes or no? No. No. There you have it. Uh, would you like to... <laughs> promote any kind of Instagram or anything, website? Yeah, you know. I mean, you know I have a huge following, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have an Instagram, it's not very active. It might be in the future. 
So P D two Y C E T E Y Y D. There you have it. I believe that movement is definitely going to only get more and more popular as the years go on. Keep this man on your radar, Peter. Thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure. He's been my second one for three questions. <laughs> See Good you. Stop. See ya. Done.